Hello and welcome to the BTV News Network. I'm Jeremy Hopkins. And I'm Marissa McNutt. We're here to give you all the news and upcoming events for Bremond ISD. Juniors, be ready to start ordering your class ring on September 15th. All order forms are due on the 22nd. Wee football has begun. Come out and support all the kids participating at the tournament in Bremond on September 23rd from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Homecoming is coming up. The Bremont Senior Class of 2018 is sponsoring the locally famous moms from Janet's Flowers. Thursday, September the 28th will be the annual bonfire. Homecoming follows the next day on the 29th with an early out at noon, then a parade at 2 p.m., pep rally and football game. During the football game, there will be a silent option for the Bremont Class of 2018. The Bremont Tigers will be facing Thorndale. Come out and support the class of 2018, and good luck to our Tiger football team. The end of the six weeks is also that Friday, September 29th, so make sure your grades are where they need to be. Monday, October 2nd, will be a student holiday, so enjoy a four-day weekend with your extra day off. October 6th will be the cap day hosted by the Bremont Varsity Cheerleaders. Bring one dollar to get a stamp and you'll be able to wear your cap all day. Next we are sending it over to sports with Mark Abbey. Welcome to Bremont ISD Sports with BTV News. I'm Mark Abbey. The football team has kicked off the season with a 47-0 record. They started two days on August 7th. The football team will be working hard as they try to keep their streak alive. We will be looking forward to them playing this year. We caught up with Coach Jeff to see what Bremont football is all about. Success are really kind of what drives the engine. And then I think also in Bremont, when some of us go home, they get that from the parents as, as well. And, you know, that together with the community, the parents and the kids being pushed hard to, to uh, uh, not only be good kids but have success, then I think that's kind of what drives the engine. Okay, and last question. Who is your favorite college coach? I had to think hard about this one, but I think Mac Brown. You know, he spent a lot of a lot of good years at Texas, and I'm not necessarily a UT fan. I like all Texas high uh, college football teams, but I think Mac Brown. I, I listened to him speak a, a couple of times, and he's very sincere about uh, having having uh, good athletes that act right and do right, and he also pushes them to to succeed on the field. Also, thank you, Coach Jeff. This was VTV News, and we're out. Thanks, Skyler. The Lady Tiger volleyball team kicked off the season with a two-a-days on August 1st and have been working toward a district championship and a playoff berth. District started on September 1st in Chilton. We look forward to following the Lady Tigers in their quest for the district title. Let's send it over to Xadia, who is with checking with Coach Luce and the Lady Tigers. Hi, I'm Xadia Walker, and we're here with BTV News. Today we have Coach Luke. So, how is the volleyball team looking this year? This year we look pretty good, Xadia. We um, have a mix of young and older kids on the squad that um, really work well together. The upperclassmen are helping the younger ones come along. So we have a good mix of experience and youth that's ready to play. In your opinion, what are keys to success in high school volleyball? Um, in our program, particularly, the keys to success are working hard every day. We have to do the little things right. Um, service and serve receive are always a big part of our game. And then also having strong hitters to put the ball on the ground. Right now, if you won the lottery, what would you do? Right now, if I won the lottery, I'd put it in the bank until after volleyball season and I would plan a really nice long vacation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now back to the studio. That's all the sports news we have for now. Be sure to check out the Bremont Athletics Facebook page and also the Bremont ISD website for all the latest and upcoming events. I'm Mark Abbey reporting in for Bremont ISD Sports. Now back to Jeremy and Marissa with more news. Another big part of our football games is the best little band in the land. Let's catch up with Eric, who is with our band director, and see what the Bremont Tiger Band has in store for us this year. I'm Eric Wiganowski here with VTV News in the band hall here with Mr. Quick to get the latest happenings and upcoming events in the band. Mr. Quick, are you excited this year about the band? 
Yes, I am. I'm really excited this year because the band program has grown just a little bit. We've got some really good instrumentation and some amazing kids playing some really good things. What is the theme for this year's marching show? The theme this year, I chose the uh, movie Blues Brothers, and we're doing various pieces of music from the Blues Brothers. Uh, Soul Man, Soul Finger, uh, think, think that Aretha Franklin and Slang was an amazing piece. It's really exciting. What are the dates for this year's upcoming marching and competitions? The first competition we're going to is going to be in Lake Whitney, and that's going to be on Saturday, October the 14th. We went there last year and did really well, and we're hoping to do much better this year. Our regional UIL competition is on Tuesday, October the 25th in La Vega. And this year, it's an advanced year. So if they make a one at UIL, they can then advance to area. And the area competition is the following Saturday, which is on the 28th. And if they do really well again, they have the opportunity to make it to state. We just have to see how well they're practicing and how well they play. If you could have lunch with any celebrity, who would it be? I would choose Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. And hopefully he'll bring his wife to you. Okay. <laughs> That's all here with BTV News. I'm Eric Rubinowski, signing off. Thank you, Eric. The end of the first six weeks is also that Friday, September 29th, so make sure your grades are where they need to be. Our art program is starting a new year and has some great things lined up this year. Let's take it over to Lucy, where she is reporting from the art room with Miss Miller. Training academic excellence, but it's also about artistic excellence, and a big component for our group is community service. We give back to the community. We do um, different activities like uh, face painting at the St. Mary's Bazaar. Uh, we've done face painting for the elementary. We've done um, 5Ks. Uh, we just we try to give back to the community as much as we can, and these folks work very hard at different art events like uh, junior base, um, state base, um, all the different base events. In fact, some of your uh, reporters are some of the hardest working folks that we've had, and some of these students in this room are some of the hardest working folks we've had in the art department here at Fremont. Okay, so how can someone join NAHS if they were interested? They need to let me know as soon as possible because we're kind of wrapping up the application process. And so if they'll come see me, I've got an application they need to fill out. They need to maintain at least an 80 in all their classes. Mm -hmm. And they need to come talk to me. That would be the first thing I would say is come talk to me about becoming a member. Great. So one more question. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Probably, um, gosh, Wonder Woman's one of my heroes. But so being, you know, Wonder Woman would be cool, but I think actually I would like to have the ability like Mantis in Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I, as a teacher, I would like to develop my empathetic skills to where I can really understand my students and um, be the best teacher I can for them. Okay. And that's it for today. Thank you, Ms. Miller. You're very welcome, honey. Y'all come back. Dr. Riley, our Spanish teacher, is starting his third year at Raymond ISD. We are going to the Spanish room with Skylar to get to know Dr. Riley a little bit more. Hi, I'm Skylar Hofgar. I'm here with Dr. Riley on BTV News. Dr. Riley, how long have you been here in Fremont? I've been here for uh, three years now. What other languages do you speak? Well, just really just Spanish, but I have studied Greek and Hebrew and French a little bit. What's your musical background? My dad taught me harmonica and ukulele when I was a little guy, about fourth grade. But I studied accordion for a lot of years and baritone horn in the school band and college orchestra. When did you first learn a new language? Probably the end of sixth grade, my dad came home and said, uh, we got to learn Spanish. And he brought me the Three Bears in Spanish book. And then I started classes in school in the seventh grade. What was the first plant you brought into this country? I think I brought three at once. So I don't know which one came through the door first. But uh, I have, uh, these are very old plants. That lime tree was grown from a seed from a key lime in, uh, that I collected from my brother's tree in Florida. And uh, that was in about 83. So that plant, I think, is the oldest. Uh, when I was getting my doctoral study, I drove by a dumpster and saw a few leaves of this tree sticking out. They looked alive, so I got curious. 
and I stuck it in an HEB bag or some bag like that, brought it home and it grew into this huge tree. It was like sick and dead. And this one, uh, when I had a mononucleosis, my uh, grad school professor knew I was gonna be out of school for a few weeks and he gave me a little tree like that as a gift, which I thought was really nice. I've never had a teacher like knock on my door and say, hey, here's a plant, hope you're feeling better. That's the key lime tree. It was grown from a little seed uh, that I collected from a lime and that was on my brother's tree in Florida in his yard. And the mother tree was also about that same size growing out in the backyard. What were you like in high school? Well, I was a little bit shy and bashful. I mean, I horsed around a bit, but uh, my most uh, embarrassing moment, at now in hindsight, I didn't realize it at the time, was uh, in English class, a girl leaned over and said, would you like to come with me to see Bob Dylan in Greenwich Village this weekend? And I said, no. Why did you say no? I would guess I was afraid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> afraid of girls, maybe. Oh. Thank you, Skylar. October 6th will be the Cap Day hosted by Bremont Varsity Cheerleaders. It costs $1 to get a stamp and wear your cap all day. Our FCCLA is geared up for a busy fall. Let's go over to Robert, who is standing by Miss Rowe, and get the latest about FCCLA and how to join. Hello, I'm Robert Housewright with BTV News, and we are here with Miss Rowe, our FCCLA sponsor, and we have a few questions for her about FCCLA and the upcoming events we can look forward to. First of all, Ms. Rowe, what does FCCLA stand for? It stands for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. How can someone join the FCCLA if they're interested? There's a couple different steps. Um, you have to be in a Family Consumer Science class, which are the classes that I teach. You have to come to the meetings in my classroom on the first Wednesday of every month, and then you have to pay $30 to cover your dues. Alrighty, and if you had a million dollars, what would be the first thing you would do with it? The first thing that I would do would be to start a college fund for my twins so that they can go off to college and not have to worry about the financial part of it. All right. And there you have it, the latest happenings in FCCLA here at Bremont ISD. I'm Robert Housewright, reporting for BTV News. Back to you in the newsroom. Thank you, plenty. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Finally, we wanted to catch up with Mr. Mitchell, our FFA sponsor, and see what is happening in FFA and what shows are coming up. Let's tune in with Eric, who is in the egg shop with Mr. Mitchell. Hey, this is Eric. We're going to ask you reporting live from the Ag Shop with Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Mitchell, what is the FFA all about? FFA is a student organization that we participate primarily in leadership, but uh, kids also do stock shows, um, do different judging contests, uh, leadership development contests, and just try to make well-rounded young people and expose them to a lot of opportunities and experiences that just build on their uh, connections, networking, and just growth as an individual. Could you tell us about the upcoming events in FFA? Uh, we're about to get busy for the fall season. We have uh, State Fair of Texas the last weekend of September through mid-October, and then we'll be at the Heart of Texas Fair in Waco for uh, a couple weeks there in the middle of October. All of our leadership development contests are in November, um, and then we wrap up with uh, the holiday season. We'll have a Christmas party and things like that. If a student was interested in joining the FFA, how could they become a member? First, they got a, as a first year student, you have to be enrolled in the class. And then after that, you actually have one year of eligibility for stock showing and um, some aspects of FFA, but not full involvement if you're not in a class. So the easiest thing to do is just be enrolled in a class and then join FFA and pay your dues and you're an active member. If you could visit any place in the world, where would it be? It's a good question. Um, I'd probably go overseas, like to Switzerland or some of those unique countries, yeah. just to see what it's all about. Somewhere different? Yes, sir. Well, this is coming live from the egg shop. Back to the studio. Perfect. I don't know. Hi, I'm Xavier Walker here with BTV News, and we're here live with our student council sponsor, Ms. Spice. So, what is student council all about? Student Council is all about community service. Um, we have a great group of kids who are serving our community, our school, and just trying to be really good role models for our community. 
So how did Car Wash go this past weekend for y'all? We had a great fundraiser this weekend. We did a car wash bake sale at uh, the Shell Station and we did really great. A lot of people came out to get the cars washed and to buy some baked goods and um, we met our goal for the year. How did someone become a member of Student Council? So if you want to be a part of Student Council, you can come talk to me or Mr. Bishop and we'll tell you all about it or talk to the bunch of kids who are already in Student Council. Um, but basically, if you're interested, just come to our meeting, see what it's all about. If it's not for you, then that's fine. You just kind of hung out with us for a meeting. But if it is, then contact us um, and you know, you'll be part of it. It's a great organization. Can you tell us about your recycling program? Okay, we have a recycling program. This is headed up by my co-sponsor, Mr. Bishop. Him and all of our um, student council members collect recycling every Friday. Um, it's by classes, um, and so they get together every Friday, sophomore class, freshman class, junior class, senior class, and they collect all of the recycled paper out of the whole school district, and they bring it to the Recycling Center in Bryan. And I think to date we have, let's see, we've done it for about eight years now, and we've collected thousands of units of recycling. So I'm really proud of our kids for starting this program and continuing it strong. Okay, thank you, Ms. Feist. Well, this is Big TV News. I'm Xavier Walker, and I'm here with Shallow Hawker. And today they're doing an edge drop. Let's see how it goes. It ain't gonna go good. Yeah! <laughs> no. uh, Watch. Okay, Watch now we're gonna see if the egg has made it. It made it. Look at that. Do not break Damn, my egg. Take it, take it out. <laughs> Yeah. Did it survive? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! The egg has survived. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Be sure to visit our website for all the latest updates on the www.bremontisd.net and check us out on Facebook. Search for the Bremont ISD Facebook page for all the upcoming events and latest news. That will be all for today. This is BTV News. I'm Marissa McNutt. And I'm Jeremy Hopkins. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend. weekend. I like how we didn't do the thumbs up. <laughs>